Angel, this rain's starting to come down. What do you reckon? Still give it a crack or not? I'll come down a little bit. We'll try it out. If it gets too slippery, I'm going to call it. OK, heading up. The end of the opal season is just days away as summer storms break over Andamooka, forcing Angel and Izzy to work dangerous conditions in one last push. That rain's getting pretty heavy. Yeah, hopefully it's stopped, otherwise... Yeah, I'll have to find back out. Just be careful, Angel. All right. Whoa. Angel, you got to get out of there. You're sliding. Hey, I... Get out of there. This is not the ideal situation. You know, as much as what we want to find opal, you know, I don't want to be going scraping her out of a hole. Just check out all that mud. Ooh. Bloody hell. Oh, much better. We have to call it quits, you know. It's slippery. We're not prepared to die for it either, so, you know, call it quits. Try again later and see how this weather goes. Oh, wow. This That's is not, not good. good. Not good at all. The end of the mining season is lapping at the boots of the misfits, with heavy overnight rain flooding their open-cut mine. You know, that's the end of this claim. It is the end of this claim. Because this water, it's going to take months to dry up. Well, if this is like this, wonder what my claim looks like. If this has got water in it, most likely yours has got water in it, which means, you know, all we've got left is the black light on foot. Well, that's all we've got. Angel and I have decided to try and take the bobcat out to my claim, to the honey hole. We're going to give it one last nudge. This is it. This attachment, the back scratcher, is a beast. The back scratcher is a chainsaw made of high quality heat treated steel designed for digging trenches. It's been modified to cut into walls up to a depth of 1.5 metres. I'll try and dig under the opal level here and then I'll bring it all down. Sounds good. It's hard. Boink, boink, boink. This is the last push for us. You know, if we don't find anything today, we're done. That'll have to do. We'll go get the jackhammer. Yep. Fingers crossed we got opal in there. I hope so. Now we're cooking with hydraulic oil. Yeah. I'm pretty keen to see this. You know, I've seen the back scratcher work now, so now it's jackhammer. All right. The 159 kilogram hydraulic jackhammer mounted on the loader has eight times more impact power than its handheld counterpart. I'm trying to prove myself to everyone out here, you know, that I am a miner, you know, I'm not just someone doing it on a whim. You know, it's not easy. At the moment, we're just doing whatever we can because we've got no time. That's the biggest thing. Oh, my God. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> you see that colour? Oh, oh no way. way. Look, Look at, at it. Oh, holy oh, God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, river. We've, we've got something. We've got something. That's a massive chunk. That's oh, probably an ounce in itself. Where did that come from? Got a bit of a cavity here. Oh, oh Izzy. Oh, I just God, knocked I can it. I see that from here. I just knocked it. Oh, oh no way. That's just as intense as this other piece. We oh, must have God. hit a pocket. Look at that. Oh, my God. That is absolutely gorgeous. There's got to be more. They can't just be two pieces. And they've both got clean breaks on them too. So Angel. Angel. Oh, Angel. Oh, oh, look, look, that's look, another look. massive piece. Oh, oh my, God. my God. Oh, my God. Look on that angle, that pink and the blue. That is awesome. Now keep finding pieces like this, Izzy, please. Oh, I'm going to try. That's his chunker. Oh my god. Done it. Woo! <laughs> what an effort. Woo! We've done it. Woo Look at it. Hey Joe. Yeah? Come have a look at what we 
got. You got the week's findings there. Yep. Back at home base, the misfits are about to get a dollar value of their final haul of the season. Come stand here, we're too excited, Joe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, they're nice. They're nice, Angel. That's what we found when we were blacklighting. They use it pretty well finished for the season. Well, you haven't hit your target, man, you know, like, I mean... No. You're not going to make it with this. This is a failed as far as I'm concerned, you know? It's pretty We're going to find what we can find. Yeah. But we do have one last surprise for you. What do you got there? A oh, bag of... It's got colour in it. Holy... <laughs> you don't even need a light. Holy hell, that's semi-black. That's skin to skin, semi-black, dark crystal. That's money, and that's like some of the best you'll see. I mean, that is that is about as fine as great opals you can get. That is absolutely. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> I almost need glasses. Hey, like, I mean, it's that is bright. that is absolutely strong as it gets. The opal from Izzy's claim is stunning semi-black crystal opal, a wash with rare reds and pinks. It's in the rough and weighs approximately 200 grams. You know, we found real full-spectrum colour opal. Very damn cool. That's money. That's serious money. What do you reckon it's worth? Well, I, I put a guess at 35, 40. What do you reckon, Angel? I said 40, but, yeah. Well, I can tell you now, every day of the week, in one second, you'll get 60,000 for this. 60, oh, 000. my God, yes! Yeah. <laughs> in a heartbeat. <laughs> no, I valued it sixty thousand because I figure what Angel was going to do was quick sell it. But in truthfulness, it's worth a hell of a lot more than that. We're shy of the hundred and sixty thousand that we set, but back before I started open mining, I never even thought about that much money. So I'm quite proud of myself. I'm quite proud of Izzy. It's awesome. So we haven't done too bad. Considering... Well, considering the whole weather's been against you, you've done all right. You know, I've left nothing on the table. I've put in everything I possibly can to be able to have this opportunity in this partnership. I'm still going home with some money in my pocket. You know, all of that money will be going back into my gym. That was pretty good, but I've got no doubt Izzy will be back. I've got no doubt Angel will be back. Definitely bigger and better things next year. You know, Joe's given me a couple of hints on what's happening and I can't wait to, you know, start moving dirt again.